to pretty much solutions welcome back and today we are going to continue our series of open card theme development so let's start without wasting time in our last tutorial we have learned how to add this email we go to the controller and some add some piece of code and after that we come to the view and uh, we write the PHP code to view this email and uh, we have done some CSS and all that okay so today we will learn how to make uh, this is a box layout and we will make it into the full layout and uh, like this we will place the logo from here to here and search bar and uh, we will replace this cart icon into this and I will tell you how to do this so our header customization is still there because uh, in uh, till this menu we will consider it as header so let's start without wasting time do you know which directory we will work I told you yesterday and uh, that we have only concern with the catalog folder and we will go to after that view and then theme and then pre-web because we have created this theme name we go to template template then we go to common and then we will have a common <coughs> files and in this we will open hero.php So let's see we've already then till here and we have already discussed the header tag and now we are going to move towards the this portion okay this is the container and this container tells that this is the class of bootstrap and this tells that you have to make a box width of interface and you can see this this is the and it will give some padding and uh, it creates some margins so that it looked like a boxed layout but we are going to make it full layout and what we have to do it we have to replace it with the we have to replace container class with the container fluid fluid okay so you can see that it's become full width layout so what I have to do is I have to copy just this and I have to replace with this container fluid so remember one thing if you want to a uh, web developer you know how to inspect elements and uh, you should have some uh, experience and in investigation in investigating the things and uh, getting to know how to do this customization in inspect element as, as I have already done so inspecting tool is very very common in while while development because it helps you a lot and it's and it uh, save your time by inspecting the error or you can find what's happening over there and what's the real issue or something like those problems if you face you have to to the inspect element <coughs> so we have done this and uh, you can see uh, now I have to do this and I have to remove this value from the cart okay icon I have to go to here and this is the logo section okay this div shows the logo section and if the logo is not available it will show the name of the website okay and then in this div it show the search and if you want to change or make changes in search like this here you have to go to the search.php because it's a variable and this is this variable indicates this file okay 
and if you want to change anything you have to um, um, uh, change in this file and you will get those changes on here okay now this is the cart and we have to customize our cart so uh, here is the variable that tells that here is a cart and we have to go to cart.php which represents the cart okay so here's the drop down menu this button is the drop down menu and uh, this is the ally list and it will contain if there is some products and there's a for loop and if some products is there it will uh, it will uh, fetch each product and it will show in a drop down menu so first of all what i have to do is i have to this is the span and this span tells that cart total amount and this span from this to this tells the total value of the cart so let me remove it and uh, remember one thing you have to do the control f5 or control r to clear your cache and hard reset it as you can see that I have uh, delete this variable and this variable <coughs> describes the item number of items and their value so I, do, I don't want to the I don't want this value and this uh, keyword items I just want only the number of uh, numbers okay so what I have to do is I have already told you in the currency that if you want to change any text okay if you want to change any text not some logic or not some like these you have to go to your language files so I will go reverse and uh, in my catalog I will go to language then I will go to English and uh, then common and then there would be a Got. okay guys this text item actually this variable is you can see the variable and this dollar sign represent its variable and this is the value okay and it's uh, an array and this is the uh, name of the variable and we are calling this to here so I just want the number I don't want the value so I will write this and now I will refresh it So guys you can see there is only the number shown and the card is empty if I add some product like this oh. I don't know what's happened but it should be added to card like this it's added to card but you can see still it's showing the value you know why I will tell you it's showing the value because because Ajax is called and uh, it it uh, it tells the browser that uh, it replaced the default and uh, that's why it's happened over here. Let's go to the header.php and see there's a wish list and there's nothing and there is uh, there was there is caught we have already done it so I will tell you uh, we have to go to some JavaScript and uh, I, have, I don't want to confuse you so far now just only you can see that uh, this zero is shown and uh, because I will do like this as you can see I will add to car add to inquiry add to inquiry and uh, like this okay it's only showing one and not showing any other value so I will tell you how to do it but for now it's uh, it's okay for you that you have to just uh, uh, make the number shown and this is the card icon and I have to replace it with this so uh, what we have to do is 
we have to just inspect once again we have to go to our inspect element as i have already told you that you are you should be an expert to this so i have to just see which class is doing this and this is the bdn inverse class which is uh, doing this so what i have to do is i have to just remove bdn inverse and bdn block bdn block is okay i have just just to remove bdn lg okay guys so you can see that what's happened is uh, that it it gone into uh, it it's not no black and we have to just write our custom css code so i have to go to the catalog view theme theme name style sheet style dot css and i have to open it so without wasting time i go at the last and i will re make a section custom css for shopping cart so what i have to do is i have to make a dot btn cs and i will make the border radius to to make it circle i will send the border radius to 50% okay and now i will just uh, assign this class to i will assign this class to i will remove all this and uh, also between large and i will just write it instead of this to custom okay so guys let's reload it so nothing is happened let's see what why it is not happening so you have to go to here and uh, you can see that bdn custom is class is there but uh, see whether the bdn css styling is working or not so i guess it's not working i have mistake i have done some mistake i think there is some 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 okay this is the reason that it was not working and uh, let's refresh it then the refresh while making while with control f5 okay and now i have to make uh, like width to 30 pixels and uh, height to 30 pixels to make a circle and i will make it display to block so guys you can see that it's now work uh, looking not so nice and i have to make it like 60 and 60 hoping for best oh good good one so uh, it's working fine but uh, there's some alignment issue we will resolve it later like this and uh, let me see what's its height and width and i will assign this to that fifty percent and fifty pixels okay and what was the color mm. e e e okay I will just copy this and uh, I will go to my CSS and I will paste with this one. Okay, guys, that's good. Now let's refresh it. Okay, guys, it's working, and I have to replace this bag with bag uh, with the bag as I have already done it in my last tutorial. So I have what I have to do is I have to go to the cart PH. Uh, card dot tpl and i have to just make this pack and before doing this uh, ensure that you have the font 
awesome version should be 4.7 other, otherwise it will not work so guys it it work cool and uh, its color should be white so what I have to do is I have to go to my CSS and uh, sorry it should be black So this is the color that is showing I have to make it 0 0 0 ok guys it's looking good and now what we have to do is we have to place this icon over on the top right so let's do it So we will add some CSS and uh, we will make the customization. So for now uh, do it and practice it and after that uh, in my next series I will continue from this and I will tell you how to uh, make the interface like this and uh, after that we will go to this menu and then we will do all other customization. Thank you so much and please, please subscribe my channel in order to uh, motivate me, to motivate me and uh, and please guys respond me uh, on messages and uh, on comments that uh, you are enjoying this series or not because there is, this is the unique series that is from zero to hero so uh, please appreciate and subscribe my channel and like my videos and uh, uh, recommend others thank you so much for watching my video and uh, for giving me your time thank you bye bye